Hello, welcome to the channel. Now we will review a movie that is fast and furious, and now we will know it's chapter T E N. I T is going to be released in U.S. at May 19th, 2023. So, has the Fast and Furious franchise earned a victory lap? That's the key question behind an appraisal of Fast X, a film that brazenly plays like a greatest hits collection from a hit artist. Not only does it directly link to the massive, franchise turning Fast Five in its narrative, but it constantly recalls other films in this series either through direct mention or action beats designed to recall similar moments in movies like Fast and Furious 6, Furious 7, and The Fate of the Furious. The script by Dan Mazzo and Fast Five director Justin Lin, who left the film after creative differences and whose absence is felt in terms of action choreography is like a snake eating its own tail, often playing like a parody of the franchise more than a new entry that cruises on its own four wheels. Even as it's spinning through enjoyably goofy action set pieces, most of them enlivened greatly by a fun performance from Jason Momoa, there's a desperate familiarity to all of Fast X that makes it even more like reheated leftovers than it is before. However, this is reportedly the start of a trilogy that will close the series. Let's hope they come up with at least one fresh idea in the next two flicks. The grand vision of certain action set pieces and the fact that it's coming to an end. I decided to do a family counter and failed to keep track post the 27th time. Every single time you hear the word family from any actor, run to the loo because there's a lot of BS coming in posts that. Only if you were able to sit through the ninth one, this would be easier to gulp in. Despite being a direct sequel to Fast 9, this one starts with stitching my favorite scene from the entire franchise bringing back a significant character that no one expected. Without spoiling, it joins the current installment with a previous part which is not F9. As we see, Cypher delivers the bad news of Dante Reyes who is Jason Momoa, hunting for Dominic Toretto like a madman, which resembles Aquaman having S asterisk X with Joker and having come back for an act of revenge. How the family, old and new, reunites to fight with one common enemy trying to finish them all. As we will see that, Dan Mazzo, Justin Lin and Zach Dean's story tries to pack in a lot by briefly touching everything and packaging nothing to drag the non-action sequences. However, the film holds your attention only when the lavish saving seven hills of Rome from an on-fire mega-sized iron ball kind of action set pieces takes place and fortunately, there are multiple of them. But, unfortunately, actors performing high-octane stunt scenes are lesser than actors following the law familia formula of the story. Even though, I watched the show amidst fans who will cheer over Killian Murphy's Oppenheimer poster on a videography during the film is a crime warning creative, the Inthukudlitz. Hence, I felt the fan service portion of the narrative as well. There was a cheer at every juncture writers must have already predicted while writing the story. There another obvious thing that was on the face predictable was the film's twists and turns. While getting into any fight sequence, you know who's going to win even before the landing of the first punch. Eventually, that impacts the already draggy screenplay by Dan Mazzo and Justin Lin. Stephen F. Wyndon's camera work brings in some new touches, like the style of shifting the camera in a long shot. Vin Diesel looks as interested in playing Dom as Salman Khan looked in playing by John in Jishi Ka by Jishi Ki John. In a couple of days, he announced, there will be one more film before it all ends, clearly displaying how badly the film studio has been trying to optimally milk the current position of the franchise. However, Michelle Rodriguez starts with being an important part of the story, but very quickly fades into oblivion, welcoming the other clutter throughout the film. Jason Statham, Brie Larson, John Cena, Charlize Theron, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Natalie Emanuel, Sung Khan, Scott Eastwood, Alan Richson, and Rita Moreno look like they're completing a formality by participating in the family reunion drama. As a matter of time, Louis Leterrier was brought in at the last moment when Justin Lin left over a significant script disagreement with Vin Diesel. Post-watching the film, I feel Lin must have been right with his version. Yep, Fast 9 was a SH asterisk Thole paradise, but this one had potential. Brian Tyler has the pulse of an FNF fan and that's why he delivers it every single time, including this one. All said and done, contrary to its title, this franchise is on its way to getting a slow and tedious conclusion, thanks to taking the family BS too seriously, adding unnecessary clutter which ain't a one-man slash John Wick show for hashtag Vin Diesel to achieve, 
who has outstayed his family's welcome. To watching the scene of movie, I would say it would be two and a half stars. But next is known for the next, and let's see the next.